Hi, I'm Sarah Lawson from Sew Sweetness, and today I'm going to show you how to sew with cork fabric. Cork fabric can be used for a variety of different projects. Here's an iPad holder that I made for my husband using the natural cork fabric, and as you can see, the natural cork especially gives this project a masculine feel to it. And this is a bag that I made using blue cork fabric, and the accents, the handles, and the straps were made using the cork, and uh, for the accents, I had them cut raw edge so the fabric is not sewn right sides together. And this can be done with natural fibers like cork or leather. Cork fabric is a sustainable and vegan friendly alternative to sewing with leather. It's available in many different finishes, colors, and designs. Right here I have a natural cork with a silver metallic finish. This is an ocean blue cork. Here's fennel in the natural color and fennel is a native plant in Portugal. This is fuchsia color cork and this is one of the printed designs. This is called tiles. There are several supplies that you'll need to sew with cork fabric. I like using Orifil 40 weight thread. Normally I use a 9014 needle on my sewing machine, but a denim needle or a Microtex needle will also be helpful. And you'll definitely want to use either a Teflon foot on your sewing machine, and the Teflon foot just has this white on the bottom, which helps it glide more easily over leather or cork, which can kind of stick to your regular foot. Or a walking foot will also be helpful. Either one of those is fine. Next up, cork like leather is not self-healing, so you'll want to use clips or binder clips instead of pins, which can leave permanent holes. And here I have Wonder Clips, which I use all the time. I have so many, as you can see. And lastly, fabric glue for composing handles, putting handles together. I like using this Beacon 3-in-1 just because it's not as watery as some other glues and not as messy. Okay, first let's talk about how to make handles, like the first bag that I showed with the blue accents and the handles. Some of my pattern pieces have special markings on them for when you're sewing with materials that you can leave raw such as leather or cork fabric. So here I have a pattern piece from one of my bags. This is for a handle and the solid lines along the outer edge are what you would use if you're using cotton fabric. So you would cut along the solid line for cotton. And I have this dash line on the inside and the dash line is what you would use if you're using leather or cork fabric which you would leave raw. So let me put that pattern piece to the side and we're actually going to cut out a leather handle like this one. And so what I like to do is I like to cut one of the handles out first and like this right here and have a rectangle of another piece of the cork fabric. And that fabric glue that I showed you before, the Beacon 3-in-1, I'm going to use that to glue the fabric's wrong sides together. And when you're gluing the wrong side of the fabric, you want to make sure the glue is maybe about a quarter inch to the inside of the edge. You don't want the glue being all the way to the end because then when you push down the fabrics, you'll have glue like squirting out the, the outer edge. So I'm going to place some glue all the way around the handle. Okay, and then here's my other piece of cork fabric, which I've cut into a rectangle, just a little bit bigger than the handle. And just going to press down. And you want to let that completely dry, so I like to put one of my rulers on top of it for maybe 20-30 minutes, just to make sure it's completely dry before taking it to my sewing machine, and then I can top stitch it. So here's that same handle piece, fully dry. And you can go ahead with your scissors and cut out that second piece of cork fabric so that, that it matches the first. And the reason that I do it like this is because it's awfully hard to get two pieces cut so they look exactly the same. It's much easier to glue, cut one piece first and glue it on top of a rectangle of fabric and then cut it out because then you can make sure that they match perfectly while you're cutting. Another way to make handles for bags is to attach handle tabs to hardware and then a strap to the hardware after you've attached the tabs. 
So that example that I showed you previously with the handle fully glued to the, the rectangle, I've already done that with the handle tab, so I've glued these wrong sides together. And then I'm using an inch and a half wide rectangle hardware. And I just placed the hardware, for this example, an inch down. And then I folded the cork fabric over. And then as you can see here, I top stitched all along the tab to secure the tab to the body of the bag. So this green fabric is the body of the bag, which I'll put together as I'm sewing through this particular pattern that I'm working on. And then when the bag is finished, I'll just go ahead and, and add the straps through the hardware. Another thing that cork fabric is great for is to make straps kind of like double fold bias tape. So for that method, I've got my strap fabric cut out of the cork already. And I'm just gonna take my ruler and mark straight down the middle. So my strap I cut six inches wide because I want a one and a half inch wide finished strap and so I'm measuring three inches and that'll put me at the center. So I'm just using this Clover Choco marker on the wrong side of the fabric. Okay, so I've got my line right down the center and now I like to use basting tape. So this is a quarter inch wide basting tape and it's got a sticky side on this side and paper on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that down uh, about a quarter inch to the inside of that line that I drew. And it doesn't have to be exact, you just don't want it all the way up against the, the line. Okay, and just make sure that's stuck down really well. And then the paper side just peels off and reveals the second side of the adhesive. So this, this side is going to be sticky now. I'm going to bring the raw edge of the strap up to the line and stick it down on the basting tape. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for the other side. So more basting tape. and then bring the other raw edge to meet the first one so that they meet in the middle. Okay, so now just flip the, the straps so that both of the folded edges meet and I like to use my wonder clips and I'm just gonna clip those edges all the way down. And then after the strap fabric is pinned, well, wonder clipped and ready to go, you're just going to take this over to the sewing machine and top stitch it. So I have my cork strap pinned together and I've got the Teflon foot on my sewing machine. Now I'm going to top stitch. I normally use a two and a half millimeter stitch length, but for any top stitching or sewing the top of the bag, I like to use a three millimeter stitch length. So I'm going to set my sewing machine at three millimeters and I'm going to sew an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the fabric. Okay, and there's my strap all finished. I normally like to use a coordinating color for straps, but I used a white thread so you can see the stitching. And now the strap is ready to attach to the bag. 
So as you can see, cork fabric is really easy to sew with and it'll give your projects a one-of-a-kind look. If you liked today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. And don't forget, if I can do it, so can you.